this time off the turn, getting through on the inside line, 5 4 on Scoyles going through. And Hari straight back in with a the bumper there, down into one and two. It's Hari who takes the running back up. So uh, even with uh, a handful of cars, it really is proving to be uh, quite uh, some race this one. Hari coming back through there, the last hand ball going out this time. Hari from Scoyles from 415 Cooper. As uh, you see them in the drivers uh, coming down into the final turn. Scoyles having a bit of a look there. Gets uh, in with a number on the inside of the rail, but no, 45 Hari holds on uh, and takes uh, the race victory. Winner, 45 Nigel Hari. Nigel, I was watching the race and I was thinking, Jake's doing well. Oh, and I was like, they're doing really well. And then um, it wasn't Jake, it was yeah. yourself in Jake's car. Yeah, swap car, so I had to go in his car. He's wanted to get it going all year and we've struggled with it all year. Yeah. Got it going last week, he went and won a Mildenhall and then I've had to go in this week and I've gone and won my first race. So. So what did you think of it? Fantastic, yeah, loved it, loved it. Different, different, yeah. but you know, I won, so let's see how the rest of the night goes. You just mentioned around there, so how long is it since you've last won a race? What's the, what's the time scale? I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I win about one a year, I think yeah. about 14 races in 11 years, so yeah. one a year just over, so I yeah. certainly haven't won one this year, it's been no. this year, definitely. And obviously last year was a short year, wasn't yeah. it? I don't remember winning one last year, either, so. yeah. I mean, it's been well publicised, because you do it, and, and Jake spoke about it last weekend, just about, it's been a tough year for the pair of you, hasn't it? And, and last, year, last week, Jake won, great, yeah, and then this, this week, you've won. Yeah, it's been a tough year, hasn't it? Well, like buses, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it, we win some I don't know why, it's just yeah. a bit of luck. Uh, it's we're good. pleased, though, we're both yeah. pleased. And, uh, and it was great that I featured in your video blog, I watched it, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I look all right on that, quite, quite attractive and handsome young man you were talking to, so thank you very much. Thank you. Well, well done, Hewan. Well, thanks for uh, Kingsman putting that video on the internet because uh, I, I love watching myself win. That, that was brilliant. It might not have been many cars in that race, but to win a race is doesn't matter what race it is. A race wins a race win, whether it be a, a heat or final or Grand National, or whatever. Winning a race is winning a race. It's a fantastic feeling, and that's why we do it. And the sport. I'm not going to moan this week. I had a moan last week about the shockers, but so I'm not going to moan this week. But you can say how good it is, uh, how good a feeling it is to win a race, and that's why we do it. And so, so pleased. It, it, it's not the only thing that's good about it. There's so many good things about it. The grading system is brilliant. The whites, yellows, blues and reds in that order. The camaraderie and the friendliness and the, the families and the, everything about the, the friendship of the sport. So I've had a really, uh, really satisfying week and uh, it uh, gives you enthusiasm to keep going. So let's see how this weekend goes. Have a tea day. Wish me luck. Well, that's made my day because it's just past the MOT. There's nothing worse than buying a uh, new vehicle and then first MOT having to find loads of problems, but it's been really good. Past easy, didn't boil over. We've uh, filled it from underneath this time and put a new air cleaner on it and serviced it, and it seems to have cured it. So, uh, brilliant. Made my day. Well, that's another week done, and uh, my car is on the ramp ready for the morning. It's Saturday morning tomorrow, so we're going to finish that in the morning. Literally, we'll finish it at 11 o'clock and uh, go and have a shower and some breakfast. Come back at midday and go. We literally, we work on the car right up to 11 o'clock on, um, on the Saturday. So, it's, uh, people say to us, is the car finished? It's never finished. Till that. Sometimes it's not finished when you're getting in it for the first race. It's just like, oh, I didn't do that job. Uh, Jake's car is loaded. It's in the coach. Jake's not going to race tomorrow at uh, Bradford. Uh, but we're going to take his car and he'll race Sunday at Sheffield. And then I'll do... Tomorrow and Sheffield, because I want to do both. I like both tracks. Well, I like Bradford. I've, I've led twice at Bradford, and I really, really want to win a race at Bradford, and I feel I'm like capable of doing it. So I'm going to look forward to tomorrow night, and then we've just realised that we've got to work on all three cars next week, because next week we've got Kings Lynn Saturday night, and then um, Hensford on Sunday. So we've got to get that car ready as well. And that, we haven't worked on that car. We haven't touched it for weeks, and the front bumper's trashed. So we're going to make a new front bumper this week for it as well. So, um, a bit of work there. A little bit of work on mine in the morning. And uh, then we'll be away. We'll see how this weekend goes. Jeez, we've had some rain at Bradford. It's a bit wet out there. They've got four tracks on it trying to blade it and grade it. It's going to be wet. It's going to be good. Just, just me tonight. Jake's car is going to stay in the truck because uh, he ain't going to race. It's just me. It's my turn to have a go. And uh, we'll stay here the night, see how tomorrow goes. Uh, the track's really deep out there, looks really good. So uh, I'm in race one, which is now race two. I swapped them over. So uh, go and watch race one, and I'm in race two. So uh, uh, let's get it on. And the mini's, mini world final race three. So it'll be good to watch. Looking forward to it. Well, woo, it's 
<laughs> that, that car is staying in there tomorrow. <laughs> if it's like this, my first race, I didn't even have time to do a 30 second block because my first race I smashed off, oh dear, but broke the bumper as well, Jake. I smashed off that back shocker, I can't believe I managed to repair it in time. And that race, got out to Constellation, which was the next race, I managed to do all that corner. I got out to Constellation, look how much mud's in there. It, look, that's all mud. Look, it's not the belt off. Well, we completely lost the power steering. Oh, I'm going to get that in there. Can I borrow that torch, please? Yeah. Borrow that torch. Look. Look. <laughs> it's just solid mud. Yeah, come here. Look. Look at your engine, mate. You can't oh. see the fucking engine. I wonder if I've got power steering. I've got all the belts off. I've got all the engine there, Jake. Look at that. I've never seen anything like that. No wonder it's so hot. And Oh, the belt, yeah, the, uh, the water pump belt up, isn't it? That's why it's a lot as well. So, uh, what's the point of trying to get the belt in the shop? Got to load up. Should we load up? You're steaming up my phone. I do. <laughs> Should we get the bar? <laughs> you get the bar, James? Go to that bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never, seen, I've never seen mud like it. That's a uh, real, real thing. The track was really, really good when you are on the racing line. I was doing really good. I was second at one point. And then I had a car on the inside of me, kept buzzing me. I was like, yeah, who's that? I'm not going to move over. And then it was Tom. Oh, go on, Tom, you can go. <laughs> so I had a good race and kept up with him. I was third or fourth for another three or four laps and then lost my power steering when all that filled with mud in between the radiator and the engine. So uh, I broke the back bumper as well. So we, the finals out now is back to back races because of council diminished. So I've done the heat, then I was in the heat two, and then. Uh, the bumper. Back bumper. I was in heat two, and then the uh, consolation was next race. And I was in the consolation the finals next race, and then it's, the Grand Nationals will be next race. So, I think that's meeting over for us. We can't even get the belts back on, can't even get all the mud out. So, we're going to watch the final, and we're going to have a beer. So, uh, oh, Sheffield tomorrow. Oh, got to do it again. Yeah. I didn't make the uh, Grand National, I've got too much damage, I've got too much mud in, in my engine bag. It's knocked the, both the belts off and um, I've cracked the wing, wing brackets broke, back bumpers broke off, so it really wants all steam cleaning out to, to get them belts back on. There's just so much mud in there and quite a bit of welding, so we think we're going to give it a miss tomorrow. I've got too much damage. Here's Jake now. What do you reckon, Jake? Should we... Uh, should no we... comment. <laughs> the trouble is... Trouble is, Jake. If we if we bend your car tomorrow, yeah. then um, we we it's too too short a week to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then next weekend is Saturday, Sunday racing again. We've got to fix the tarmac car yet. The tarmac car's in bits, so we're just going to discuss it now. But I think we're probably going to give it a miss and go home. I think that's a sensible thing to do. Otherwise, we'll have three cars that are damaged and we won't get them all done next weekend. So we'll either miss tomorrow or miss miss next weekend. Can't do everything. No, we have to go to work as well. So, oh. Well. Yeah. Sunday morning and uh, we've just found that Sheffield's been cancelled anyway. Uh, we weren't going to go anyway because we've just got um, all my belts are off and I've got no power steering it and it was boiling over because the belts are off. Because of the mud in there we just couldn't get out. We spent an hour trying to get that most of that out and we couldn't get it all out so it needs to be come out with a steam cleaner really. My, my roof's broke as well. The bumper's broke. Um, the bumper's actually gone through it there. Yeah. Another, another wing has gone. Oh dear. That's gonna. <laughs> in my pile of scrap wings. Uh, I think I'm gonna add to that pile. <laughs> oh dear. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, what a horrible morning. Right, I'm gonna. Um, uh, should I get it off and clean it or should I wait till tomorrow? I think I might wait. It's chucking it down with rain. Right, oh, no. let's uh, get it cleared and get it ready to do it at King's Road again next week. Yeah, forget it. I ain't going to clean it in this weather. I'll do it tomorrow, after work tomorrow, because it's horrible. I've only been here 10 minutes, so he's chucking it down, look. So I'm going to get a coffee at the clubhouse. I'm not going to do any golfers today, either, because of the weather. There's a few fishermen here, but it's desperate for our business as well. So I feel sorry for Steve to have to cancel a meeting like today, because uh, it's their business, isn't it? So it's all a shame. Uh, conclusion for me last night. First race, I knocked a shock off. There's another shock of broke. I'm not going to moan about it. Uh, and we managed to get out for the next following race for the Constellation. And I was running second and went back down to six, got up to second again, and then uh, all that mud got in between and knocked the belts off. So I carried on for another two laps as well after that. 
and then uh, just had to pull off. Just couldn't couldn't steer. Well, it, the, the steering pulled me into the centre anyway, so that was it. I was stranded. Oh well, oh well. Not to worry. That's uh, that's racing this time of year, isn't it? We go racing in this weather. Let's uh, see what next week brings. There you go. All our golfers are indoors. It's uh, it's horrible out there today. So uh, look at the look at the weather out there. It is a horrible day. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, well, yeah, well. The lake looks nice, but uh, I ain't going out there today. Back indoors, I think. Conclusion and finally, that's it for this vlog. This week, this vlog. Uh, have you enjoyed it? I um, <coughs> I've been looked at the car and I've left it on the trailer. I'm going to do it tomorrow now. I'm not going to clean it in this weather. I need I need waterproofs on and. I'm going to get wet and muddy, so I'll, I'll give it a miss. Uh, we've, we've got to uh, get my... Jake's car's obviously staying in the coach, so that's good for next week. And it's a big meet, big race for us next week. You see, it's the uh, memorial race at King's Lynn, so and there's two grand on it, like a grand for the winner. So, yeah, me and Jake, we want to win that trophy and win that money. You know, we want to race and compete, so we want to get both cars ready for that and then uh, get the Tamac car ready for Hensford on Sunday, so... Let's hope the weather's a bit better next week and uh, and we'll try again. And uh, this is a nice day to stay behind glass today. I'm going to stay indoors. Right, time for some breakfast and uh, do it all again next week. Bye-bye.